Are narcissists more successful professionally than non-narcissistic folks? Do they earn a lot more money? A big answer to all these questions is 100% yes, but let's not generalize things because some of these folks, some of these individuals can't hold a job for more than a few weeks, which is pathetic. And you might wonder why. They are impulsive. They need instant gratification. They are reactive. They need to control the system. And sometimes they don't get enabled. But those who really make it big in their careers or money-wise, what drives them? Is there something that we need to learn from them? Are they more ambitious than us? Let me answer all, all these questions in today's episode. Hi, I am Danish, a narcissistic abuse recovery professional. In today's episode, we are going to find out why some narcissists are so successful professionally and why some of them are fiddly rich. If any of that sounds interesting to you, please make sure to subscribe before we begin because as I always say and request, your subscription to the channel may help in spreading awareness about narcissistic abuse. Also, you may want to stay until the very end because I'll be talking about my narcissistic malignant father who was and still is crazy about money, wealth and materialism. First things first, they're not more ambitious or driven than us. It may seem they are, but we need to take a deeper look. They are empathy and hollow within. I have said it so many times, haven't I? Which means there is nothing that can define them. If you were to ask a narcissist, who are you? They won't have an answer. In fact, that question might trigger a big narcissistic collapse. If they were to genuinely sit with that question and look within and try to find out who they are and what they stand for, they don't stand for anything. They are already gone. What you see is a body that walks around, but there is no one within. What does that have to do with their success and money? Well, if I feel meaninglessness, deep within, if I am extremely insecure, if I do not know who I am, if nothing I do feels satisfactory, of course I am going to do things that will define me or that will enable the grandiose idea that I have created about myself. Because I cannot accept who I am, I have created this false idea, I am amazing, I am this, I am that. So to Make, it, make this illusion my reality to give it some meaning. I will go after things that naturally will create a sense of meaning for you. Do you understand where I'm going with that? Money, success, leadership positions, the validation I get from people are just the tools to give me meaning because I have none to offer myself. A narcissist's ambition and drive are not the ones that you feel. If I were to ask you, why do you want more money? Or why do you want to live in a nice house? Or why do you want a good position at your job? Of course, you will talk about, oh, that will help me to um, fulfill my needs. Then eventually you'll talk about your family, you'll talk about your children, you'll talk about others. It won't be just about you. Yes, all of us need recognition. All of us need to be in better positions because that makes us feel good about ourselves. But when it comes to a narcissist, it is their oxygen. It is the only source of validation, the only source. Your job is not the only source. It's one of the things that you like to do. It's not your existence. For a narcissist, the money they go after, the job they do, it is who they are. Their drive to excel and earn more comes from feeling the high at the end of the process when they get that outcome. And it's a very sadistic chase for them. When they go after somebody supply-wise, it is the process they enjoy, the process of making them fall for the narcissist's false self. And that's the reason they lose interest once they catch the supply. The same thing is with the job. They seek that leadership position, which is why they learn more and then they earn more, but it's never satisfactory. Just one of the things, one of the drugs they use to fill that empty sense of self. Having that said, we don't need to learn anything from them. What we need to learn is how to protect ourselves from those who have enormous power because of where they are in their careers. And that is also one of 
the few reasons why they excel because they know if they become so and so in politics in medicine we're talking about surgeons doctors all these people who have a lot of power and can command people why do they do it not all of them i'm just talking about those narcissists who go in it for the supply why do they do it to control others and to abuse openly and run away with it justify it brainwash everybody into thinking that they're not abusing it just that uh, how things should be and their way of wanting things to be is the only way they should be why did i say we need to protect ourselves from such people because i have seen horrible things so when you get involved with a rich narcissist or somebody who has a lot of power and can control you it is one of the worst situations you can ever become a part of why because such a narcissist in the beginning might comfort you and say oh you don't need to work i will give you the money what would i do with all of the money that i have leave your job don't do everything just sit at home but then eventually will make you beg for every single penny which still can be taken care of survived but then the actual problem happens when you try to leave them and you cannot since they have so much power they can buy anybody even the entire system if the narcissist you're dealing with is that rich and you feel totally trapped every move you think of making you always know there is going to be a counter move something that you cannot take a stand against i have seen that happening in front of my own eyes some people stayed trapped a few found their way out and some unfortunately couldn't make it so it's sad but this is the truth of this capitalistic economy how outcome is preferred more than the process and there is competitiveness the process demands you to perform it's all performance based i think it would be right to call it a narcissistic system or it's a system for narcissists where they can excel when we talk about capitalism we're talking about money how do we generate more where is the success what do we do with numbers such narcissists who are involved in the system and it is the system for them as i said can quite coldly fire 10000 people overnight and sleep finally it wouldn't impact them and of course the system demands that kind of resilience that kind of boldness so naturally it propels them forward why wouldn't be they more successful when the entire system enables the form of success they chase and seek so that was collective narcissism for you now let's talk about my father a little bit i have seen him my entire life chasing one position after the other i can tell you even now even now at the age of 55 or so he still prepares for examinations you may think oh he's driven he's hard working but where is the end he has a lot of money he has acquired a lot of assets but is a miser w wouldn't spend a money lives like a beggar where is the end of it you earn you create you build but then a time comes when you say fine i'm done now let me live a happy life let me create a happy and satisfied life for those i worked so hard for that is the non-narcissistic thinking but the narcissist crazily goes after it one thing after the other one pile money after the other and that is a, an endless chase he is so crazy after money that he will do anything i mean anything to get it i have one incident to share with you and this still breaks my heart as i think about it once he came back from his office and as a child i used to search his office bag for pencils and stickers and all that you know child things and then i found a prescription and that prescription was my name and then back then i remember I was shocked, taken aback when reading the diagnosis of some chronic condition that I didn't have. The idea was to use that prescription, submit it to his work authorities and get money for my treatment. Can you imagine this level of obsession with money that you, can, you, will, you would probably sell your own children for it? I can't seem, still accept it, but the point was they are crazy after it. It's their oxygen, as I said it. It is what 
they will do anything for to get if it means they'll be validated if it means they'll be seen as a person of importance all his life he kept training us to work hard to work hard not for our life because it was always pressured on us by us mean i mean me and my sibling he, he decided what profession or what career i should choose but then i made my own choices that is a different thing it was about becoming his extension and enabling his image in my opinion it can be safely said a narcissist's desire for more be it money be it any asset anything any position is an addiction it's something that consumes them and they do not give up on it until their last breath no matter what their age if they still can earn it they will go after it and if that means they'll have to burn everything to ground including the relationships they won't hesitate let me know if you agree with me if you have experienced what i have experienced in the comments below i'll talk with you in the next one this was the end for today's episode thank you so much for tuning in and until next time let the healing begin and continue